Good morning. Good morning and welcome to this press conference regarding the announcement of the 18th president of St. Vincent College. My name is Kim Colonna. I'm a proud graduate of St. Vincent College and a member of the college's board of directors. I first want to thank you all for your presence here today as we prepare for a transition in the governance of St. Vincent College with the naming of a new president. I would ask you now to stand for the singing of the national anthem and the alma mater led by Mr. Tom Octave and the St. Vincent College singers. And then please remain standing for an opening prayer by our chancellor, Archabbot Douglas Nowicki. Dear God, we thank you for the blessings that you give to us each day. We thank you particularly for the gift of our faith and for all who help us to grow in that faith each day. We ask that St. Vincent College, under the guidance of a new president, may continue to inspire young hearts to follow you in the many ways in which you have challenged us to be instruments of your peace and goodness to all who come to us in need each day. Help us to be instruments of your light, your love, your goodness, always to respond to the needs that we see among our brothers and sisters everywhere. We ask your blessing on St. Vincent College, on its board, faculty, students. Help us all to be instruments of that love that you revealed to us through your son, Jesus Christ. Give us the wisdom and strength to reflect that mission to continue the good news in the many ways in which we are called to serve you. We ask your blessing on us all gathered here this day, and we ask your blessing on our new president, and we give you thanks for the blessings that you give to us each day. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Well, good morning and uh, welcome to Heinz Field. It's great to be hosting the St. Vincent community here today. Uh, I really wasn't expecting to see this uh, great picture of St. Vincent on the scoreboard when I drove down to the stadium this morning, but uh, I have to say it reminds me that I think St. Vincent is certainly one of the most beautiful campuses in the country and, and uh, one of the reasons we're all proud of it. Of course, I like to see the, the version of that photo and that view that includes Chuck Noll Field on it, so we'll, we'll work on this uh, photo for next time. But. Uh, but it's great to see uh, to see that fantastic uh, image of uh, of the institution we're all so proud to be connected with. Uh, 
I have to say that uh, I, I don't have a script on everybody that's going to be introduced today, and I know there are a lot of people that deserve to be introduced here, but I hope you don't mind if I uh, say welcome to my mother, uh, Mrs. Dan Rooney, and Mom, thanks for coming down today and visiting with us. Thank you, and my, and my sister Duffy as well. Uh, It's not my job to make this very important uh, announcement that's going to occur here, but I can tell you I'm very excited about it and, and uh, looking forward to, uh, to uh, our new president. But uh, before we do that, I, I have ser I've had the good fortune to serve on the board now for uh, a number of years and, and uh, just want to say thanks to Brother Norman for the great leadership he's provided St. Vincent College over the last several years. and, and uh, has left a great uh, foundation to, to continue to build on. Uh, thank you. So uh, a couple of years ago, we hosted a little gathering in this room when uh, the capital campaign was announced. And uh, as you may remember, the sort of theme of the capital campaign is forward, always forward, and, and uh, mentioned that we we try to teach our running backs that, uh, that idea all the time. Uh, but there's one thing I know about our new president, and, and he believes very strongly in that same motto. So I know that we'll, uh, we'll see that spirit in him. So uh, uh, again, I want to welcome everybody to Heinz Field and, and look forward to this, uh, this great announcement in the future. Thank you. In April 2019, Brother Norman Hips, president of St. Vincent College, announced his decision to step down as the president at the end of the current academic year. He did so after nine years at the helm of St. Vincent College and with the success of the $100 million capital campaign in sight. During Brother Norman's tenure, St. Vincent College experienced an enhancement of its mission and increased national recognition as a Catholic, Benedictine, liberal arts and sciences institution of higher education. Under Brother Norman's leadership, the college also experienced unprecedented success in the expansion of academic programs, including new programs in criminology, business, healthcare, integrated science, and the Benedictine Leadership Studies program, as well as advanced degree programs in nurse anesthesia and a BSN program offered in partnership with Carlo University in Pittsburgh. Brother Norman has overseen the completion of the Sis and Herman Dupre Science Pavilion and the recently completed James F. Will Engineering and Biomedical Sciences Hall. His recent accomplishments include reaching a milestone of $100 million in the capital campaign currently underway, the expansion of the Dale P. Latimer Library Arts and Technology Center, and the signing of a collaborative agreement between the Fred Rogers Center at St. Vincent College and the Zeitz Initiative at the Harvard Graduate School of Education. Please join me in welcoming Brother Norman Hips, the 17th president of St. Vincent College. Thank you, thank you so much. Kim, your kind words. Thank you, Art, uh, for providing this wonderful setting. It was perfect for the announcement of a capital campaign, and it's ideal now for the announcement of a new president. Thank you also for serving on our board of directors. St. Vincent is a special place. It's allowed me to be engaged in mathematics and administration for some 42 years now, nine as president. And it's a place where I will now be able to do a little more teaching of mathematics. My thanks to the faculty, to administrators, to staff, alumni and friends, along with our Benedictine community, and above all, to the thousands of students, past and present, who are the very heart of our educational mission at St. Vincent. And I'm deeply grateful 
to the chairman of our board, Chris Donahue, president and CEO of Federated Investors. He has been a valued mentor, friend, conscientious and insightful leader, faithful Catholic, humble man. Thank you so much, Chris. As Kim mentioned earlier, on April 10th, 2019, Brother Norman announced his plans to step down as president of St. Vincent and to return to the classroom, at least part-time, to teach mathematics, which has always been his first love. On behalf of the St. Vincent College community, including the students, faculty, administrators, staff, along with the Benedictine community and the board of directors, I extend gratitude to Brother Norman for his outstanding service as president for the past nine years and for the 42 years of academic leadership at the St. Vincent campus. So again, thanks, Brother Norman. In order to promote a smooth transition in the governance at St. Vincent College, the chairman of the board, J. Christopher Donahue, and I appointed an ad hoc committee on the presidency as the first step in the process of selecting a new president. The ad hoc committee was given two charges. One is to identify the challenges and opportunities presented to St. Vincent College at this particular moment in its history, and secondly, to identify the qualifications needed in a new president. The board received a copy of the committee's report in May, and my gratitude to the ad hoc committee for their service to the college and to all the faculty and members of the St. Vincent College community, alumni, students, for their comments on the report and for their recommendations regarding potential candidates. The executive committee of the board reviewed the report and interviewed the candidate proposed by the Archabbot Chancellor on May 31st. And I'm pleased to announce that yesterday the full board approved the recommendation of the proposed candidate. And it's now my honor to invite Kim Colonna, again, the member of the St. Vincent College Board, to introduce the chairman of our board for the announcement. Good afternoon and welcome. I would also like to add my thanks to Brother Norman, who during his 50 years at St. Vincent's has been a leader who always put the students first. He emphasized academic excellence and the Benedictine value of community. In recognizing this, yesterday at the board meeting of St. Vincent's College, we approved the title of President Emeritus for Brother Norman. Well earned. That means he's never really gone. <laughs> now, as regards the campaign of Forward Always Forward, the number we announced when we were last here was 100 million. And because of the momentum, the success, and the drive of the entire team, we are proud to announce today that we have extended the number to 110 million because we already believe we have the 100 in the bag and why would we want to have a new president without any more goals to accomplish? <laughs> so with those two things in mind, it is now my privilege to announce the appointment of the 18th president of St. Vincent College who was unanimously approved by the board of directors and it is Father Paul Taylor. But you don't get to talk yet. I get a free shot. Back a hundred years ago when I was in college, the word going around at cocktail parties as to the future was plastics. Today the word is sustainability. And what we're demonstrating today with our President Emeritus, the expansion of our campaign goal, and the appointment of Father Paul Taylor is sustainability. And Father Paul is emblematic of sustainability at St. Vincent's. You know, he has a degree in mathematics from St. Vincent's where he had Brother Norman as his instructor. 
Eventually, he had to go to Duke to get a master's in it, but that's not nearly as important because I asked Brother Norman if, in fact, Father Paul can count, and he confirms that he can, and that's the important part. Along the way, the abbot had this great idea of a suggestion that instead of a career in mathematics, that Father Paul should go to Boston College and get a degree in higher education administration. Well, if you know anything about the abbot, a suggestion is usually followed, and that PhD was accomplished. Father Paul also had many, many positions at St. Vincent's College. He was the head of institutional advancement. Now, institutional advancement is our euphemism for raising money. And what was his real job? It was working with the faculty to understand academic needs. And therefore, he became the linking verb between the faculty and what was needed and on their minds and donors' hearts. By the way, donors' hearts is an elimocenary euphemism for wallets. <laughs> so Father Paul had to learn the story, tell the story, and walk the talk. Father Paul was always also a, a parish priest which means that he understands regular pew Catholics and all sorts of other regular people too. He is our affable padre. He's been on the board of Fort Ligonier up in Ligonier. And this tells you that he has an appreciation for heritage, the importance of history, and also that every once in a while you have to fight battles that are necessary for sustainability. His heritage began in St. Mary's PA, and his family, of course, is from the Straw Brewing family. Announcement, there will be no beer brewing at St. Vincent College. Thank you very much. <laughs> Father Paul has also been the Catholic chaplain of the Pittsburgh Steelers. And I have heard his superiors say that when the, since the good Lord is first, when, as in if, the team has challenges or difficulties, first consider the performance of the chaplain. <laughs> Beware, Father Paul. Father Paul was also a residence hall director. You know, that's like camp director, but that means he really knows students. He even recruits students, especially some of our African-American students from Newark. And he has been single-handedly responsible for increasing dramatically the number of African-American students on campus from back in the day of about five or six to today about 200. One of his methods of doing this was to go into the school in his full Benedictine regalia and challenge to bench press anybody and all comers. I think he basically uh, won them all. He maybe lost one, I don't recall, but this wasn't the real message. The real message is when those kids got on campus, the word went around, don't mess with Father Paul. He also had another title. It was called Miller and Manager of the St. Vincent Grist Mill. What does this mean? It means he knows how to make bread. What does that mean for us? He's going to make us more money, 100 to 110. Thank you very much, Father Paul. <laughs> He's also given a number of university lectures from subjects as varied as Benedict and higher education in the United States to Dan Rooney, Faith, Family, and Pittsburgh. But my favorite title and role that Father Paul has had is 30 years as a monk at St. Vincent and 25 years as a priest. He lives the mission. He is our linking verb. He is our affable bench-pressing padre, my friend, and our new president, Father Paul. Thank you, Mr. Donahue, for those very kind words and for your leadership of the St. Vincent College Board of Directors. Thank you for your confidence in us in this campaign, too. You know, at St. Vincent, we do everything 110%.
Thank you to our Chancellor, Arch Abbott Douglas, and to the members of our board for your confidence in carrying forth the Catholic, Benedictine, liberal arts and sciences mission of St. Vincent. Thank you, Brother Norman, my teacher, for your 40 plus years of steady and wise leadership, particularly these nine years of your presidency. St. Vincent is strong because of your guiding hand. Thanks, Mr. Rooney, for your friendship and your welcome to Heinz Field and this home of our beloved team, our Steelers. I'm especially honored to welcome Mrs. Joanne Rogers, the wife of Fred Rogers, who continues to be an inspiration to all of us at St. Vincent as we uh, have been entrusted with his legacy at the Fred Rogers Center. For 173 years, St. Vincent has been progressing forward. Inspired by the leadership of our founder, Boniface Wimmer, whose vision has provided a strong foundation for our mission, we move forward today with a readiness to face the challenges confronting higher education. These are critical times for colleges and universities. We face ever-changing needs for our students and alumni. Making higher education affordable and preparing graduates for successful careers and meaningful lives, those top the list. Since our founding, St. Vincent College has been committed to assisting students who have financial need. This priority will continue to be at the forefront of our efforts, particularly, particularly through the Students First Fund. Thanks very much to a strong faculty deeply committed to guiding our students through the mind-expanding pathways of the classical liberal arts and sciences. St. Vincent prepares students for jobs, but not just jobs, for careers. And not just careers, but leadership in their fields and meaningful lives rooted in strong moral and ethical guideposts so desperately needed in our divided and chaotic world. Over the years, many co-workers, men and women faculty members have labored with our Benedictine monastic community in enabling our graduates to make a difference in all parts of the world. As teachers and mentors, they are critical in the process of forming these young minds. For all of us at St. Vincent, particularly the faculty, the students always come first. More than providing them with information, our faculty create a desire for learning and a commitment to being productive and contributing members of their communities. Education is the pathway to this goal. I welcome the challenge and opportunity to build upon the work of Brother Norman and the faculty and administration of St. Vincent to enable our students to make a difference in their profession and in our world. Just a week ago, the New York Times cited the high success rate of St. Vincent College for our students completing their degree. St. Vincent College and Harvard University are working in collaboration for our students in the further study of the work and the writings of Fred Rogers at his Center for Early Learning and Children's Media at St. Vincent College. Faculty, administration, and staff, alumni, friends, and benefactors, many are here today and all are pivotal figures in the continuing story of St. Vincent College. They have transformed the landscape of our world to meet the challenges we face today. Not just individuals, but often families, and often generations of families walking with us to carry forward this legacy. At St. Vincent, when you walk with us, you belong. Our community is strong. Our students, I love it, our students say it the best. 
Once a bear cat, always a bear cat. In this world of shattered relationships and fractured society, belonging is a treasure. Our Benedictine and Catholic mission prioritizes the sacred nature of the human person and the importance of the connectedness of that person to our community. Once you have the foundation of belonging, there are no hurdles too high and no obstacles too big to keep you from success in this world and eternal happiness in the next. That's the St. Vincent difference. You belong. Once a bear cat, always a bear cat. Thank you. one with chills. <laughs> Thank you all for joining us for this exciting and important announcement about the future of St. Vincent College. Please stay and enjoy lunch with us at the other side of the West Club Lounge. We will conclude with a blessing from the Arch Abbot. Please stand. Arch Abbot Douglas. Let us bow our heads in prayer. Dear God, we thank you for the blessings of this day. We ask your blessing on Father Paul as he begins the next chapter in the history of education at St. Vincent. We thank you for the gift of Brother Norman and his leadership. We thank you for the board, for the alumni, for the friends, for the faculty, students, all who are part of the greater St. Vincent campus. We thank you for the blessings that you've given to the Benedictine community and the mission to carry forward always your eternal love. We ask your blessing on each of us this day, on our families and friends, all who are instruments of your love, who give us hope and strength each day. And we ask your blessing now on this food that we're about to receive through Christ our Lord. God bless you all and thank you for being here and good luck, Father Paul. <laughs>